the error code EL0C or EC in Medea air conditioners is activated when the system, through its control strategy, detects a possible refrigerant gas leak. However, as we will see below, this code can also be triggered by other factors. For many Medea models, the control strategy for detecting a refrigerant gas leak is based on comparing the values recorded by the temperature sensors, especially the sensor located on the coil of the indoor unit. Here are the steps to resolve the error code EL0C or EC in Medea units. 1. Turn off the unit and disconnect it from the electricity. Wait several minutes, turn the unit back on, and check if the error persists. 2. If the error continues, with the unit turned on, check in cooling mode if the air being supplied is sufficiently cold. Place your hands in front of the indoor air outlet to measure the temperature. 3. If the air coming out is sufficiently cold, there is probably no refrigerant gas leak, and the issue might be a false alarm. 4. To identify the cause of a possible false alarm, focus your diagnosis on the temperature sensor located on the coil of the indoor unit known as the well sensor or evaporator sensor. 5. Check the correct position of the sensor and the condition of the wires from the electronic board to the sensor. 6. If the error persists, turn off the unit, disconnect the sensor, clean the connections, and reconnect it. Then, Check again if the error continues to appear. 7. If the error persists, a multimeter will be needed to measure the sensor's electrical resistance. Turn off the unit, disconnect the sensor, and measure the resistance in the kiloohm scale. The resistance value should not be zero or infinite. 8. By rubbing the sensor with your hand, the resistance value on the multimeter should decrease. If you have the sensor's electrical resistance table in the equipment manual, compare the multimeter values with those on the table. 9. If the error persists, try replacing the sensor. If the fault continues, the problem might be in the electronic board. 10. If the air measured in step 3 is not sufficiently cold, then there may be a refrigerant gas leak. Look for oil stains on the pipes that connect the indoor unit with the outdoor unit, or on the coils, as oil usually indicates leaks. 11. If you have a clamp meter, measure the current drawn by the unit, and compare it with the regular consumption value RLA. When there is a significant leak, the current consumption is much lower than normal. 12. Remember that if the unit has suffered a leak, it must be repaired. If it has run out of refrigerant gas, a vacuum must be performed, and the amount of gas indicated by the manufacturer must be added. 13. A properly functioning unit with refrigerant R410A or R32 should have a working pressure close to 120 PSI when turned on. If there is a leak, this value will be lower. 14. There is also the possibility that the problem is due to an internal blockage in some piping, preventing the refrigerant gas from reaching the indoor unit. Pay special attention to the capillary tube. To detect a possible blockage, observe the equipment in operation. If ice forms on the capillary or it is excessively cold, this could be a sign of an internal blockage at that point.